Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an inventory management system in Excel. It is an automated inventory management system. Here, just you have to enter your purchase and sales and everything is done automatically and it is very easy to create. So first, let's see a small demo of this application. After that, we will learn how to create it. So this is a simple dashboard for this inventory management system. On the left hand side, you can see enter new item, purchase new entry and sales entry. That means when you click on enter new item, it will take you to the item list. And here you can enter new item, unit of the item and the amount to maintain minimum stock and the amount to maintain maximum stock. This two amount will help you to recognize how many items to order to maintain your minimum stock and maintain your maximum stock. Then this is the purchase entry and sales entry. Click on purchase entry. Here you can see purchase voucher. Type here the name of the creditor, address, mobile number and the items you have purchased and every details. And click on save. As you save this, it will go to the purchase seat and saved here. And if you want to make a sales entry, click on sales entry. You can see sales voucher. And on the same way, type the name of your customer, address, mobile number and the details of the item sold. And click on save data and this data will be saved to sales sheet. Go to dashboard. You have made several purchase entry and sales entry and if you want to view the previous vouchers, then click on purchase view. And here type the voucher number, suppose number one and click on search, you can see number two search number three search you can search all the voucher here like this way and if you want to see the sales voucher then in the same way type here the voucher number and type search number three search in this way you can see all the sales voucher as you have made several purchase entry or sales entry your stock has been changed if you want to check your stock then go to view all stock it will take you to the stock sheet you can see the name of the items, their opening stock, total purchase over the period, total sales over the period and the closing stock. And finally, if you want to see which item to order to maintain your minimum stock or maximum stock, click on goods to order. Then if you want to maintain your minimum stock, then click minimum stock to order. Then here you can see you have to order these five items. And these are the quantities to be ordered. And if you want to maintain your maximum stock, then click on maximum stock. Then these seven items to be ordered. And these are the quantities of this item. So in this way, this application works. And now we will understand how to create this application. So let's begin this tutorial. First, we'll create item list. So rename this sheet as item list. Double click and type item list then now we will build the item list so on b2 type item name then units then minimum stock then maximum stock now increase the width of the columns as required Type here keyboard mouse hard disk UPS printer modem pen drive. You can add as many items as you want. Then type here the units that is pieces so all will be pieces I will drag it down and the minimum stock you want to maintain for each item suppose I want to maintain a hundred minimum stock for keyboard hundred for mouse hard disk 25 UPS 10 printer 10 modem 25 and pen drive 50 and maximum stock I will maintain 250 for keyboard, 250 for mouse, hard disk 50, 
UPS 25, printer 15, modem 50, pen drive 100. So these are the maximum and minimum item values. So select this, make it center. Now we will format this table. So first header I will color it with this color bold white and now I will give alternating row color for this table. So select as much as you want and after that go to conditional formatting manage rule and here create new rule and click on use a formula to determine which cell to format. Then here you have to put the formula equal to and this cell is B3. So type here dollar $B then 3 not equal to blank comma is odd bracket open row bracket close for or is odd bracket close for and then format will be fill no color border outline then ok ok apply so we got it now another rule same function type here equal to and b2 sorry dollar b2 not equal to blank comma is even bracket open row bracket open bracket close bracket close for is even bracket close for and then go to format outline border fill will be light color this one okay 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 apply so so if you have more items uh, more than 18th row you can increase the range by typing here 100 or 200 anything and then press ok so we have created our item list now we will create the invoice for purchase and sales so create a new sheet and name it as invoice and after that create the voucher format as your wish so first select this sales from c to h and merge it and type here purchase invoice and then this one again merge it the name of the shop or the business that is computer point and then type here as it is shown in invoice Dells in computer parts and accessories then type the address here Raj Palace Rodbari Malda seven three two one zero one leave one row and here type serial number then here date and then write here name then here address then here mobile number and now leave one row and type here serial number 
description of goods unit quantity rate and here amount now take 15 rows and after that type here net amount and now format this so first we need serial number this way and description of goods more wider then quantity is ok rate is ok rate amount to be little bigger oh ok fine now select this one and change the font as your wish and increase the font size ok now here also suppose you maybe you can take this font and increase the font size and after that you may give more formatting or colors suppose I select this one and I get a background color for this and this is the font color and or maybe I could keep formatting format cells here fill fill effect and here first color is this one and second color is more color and give you a little lighter color okay and take this one okay okay now in the same way select this one right click format cell fill effect take this color sorry here this color and take this color then more colors and here more lighter okay 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 and now select this one again right click format cells fill effect then select this color and more color and here more lighter color okay okay in this way you can format as your wish and after that decrease this one and decrease this row also and here I will merge this cells and give it a bottom border and in total here I will give a border outline border okay so outline border so it's fine and now select this one with this color bold and white and select up to here give a border sorry you have to give all border okay and here select this to march and right aligned and here also you can align this I will align this two to right okay this one is fine and merge these cells and I will also merge these cells and type here thank you and then I will increase the font size first I will change the font then font size okay here I will give a color okay and now I will give again all border okay so our invoice format is complete 
I will use this format for both purchase and sales invoice. So for that I have to change here the headings purchase invoice to sales invoice. I will do that with review code. So we have created the invoice format and here I have to use some formulas. So for serial number I have to type equal to if this cell is equal to blank then here it will be blank otherwise one bracket close enter so we are getting here blank if I type here anything you can see we got one so first I will select this and central line so here I will put another formula equal to if bracket open or bracket open this cell equal to blank comma this cell equal to blank bracket close for or then here we will get blank otherwise this cell plus one bracket close enter so we got here one because we have blank here if I type here B you can see we got two so we will drag this formula till the end okay now if I type here C D E is working okay now if I delete anything from the middle then all the numbers are gone it's perfect so I will clear this now here we will create a drop down list for the items for that first we have to create a dynamic range for the item list so go to item list then go to formulas name manager create new here I will type item underscore sorry item list okay then in the formula delete this one and type equal to offset bracket open this cell comma one cell down because our list will start from here comma zero cell to the right comma count a bracket open now select this column b bracket close minus one minus one because the count of the B column will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But we have 7 items. That's why it is minus 1, comma, 1 column width, bracket close. Okay. Now if I click here, we can see only this item is selected. Close. Invoice. Select this range. Then go to data data validation select here list and then here source press F3 and select item list okay okay so we got here the item list so if I type keyboard cell number one if I keyboard mouse hard disk okay everything is fine now here we have to face the units for the items for that we have to face the item from the item list so here we have to create a dynamic range for this table so go to formula name manager new and type here item list underscore table or you can name any other no problem select this one equal to offset bracket open start from here comma 0 comma 0 comma our width will be 1 2 3 4 comma and height will be sorry first will be height so height will be the count so count a bracket open column b bracket close our width will be 4 bracket close okay select this one now you can see total table is selected close this one and now here we use VLOOKUP formula 
equal to v lookup lookup value will be this one comma table array will be item list table comma column index is 2 then bracket close and enter so you can see here it's pieces so drag this till the end so here we got error result to remove this use here if error if error then at the end comma time double inverted comma bracket close enter and now drag till the end again yes now it's fixed now when you enter the purchase invoice or sales invoice you will type quantity rate but amount will be calculated for that we have to use a formula equal to if or bracket open this cell equal to blank comma this cell equal to blank comma this cell equal to blank so if any of this is blank then we will get blank result otherwise quantity into rate bracket close enter so you can see here we got a blank result now drag the formula till the end now if i type here 10 then also blank and when i type the rate you got 2500 if i delete anything suppose here is blank if i delete this one then also blank so it's fine and now the net amount so net amount will be the sum of all this amount so type here equal to sum bracket open select the range bracket close and enter so our invoice is complete and now we will create another invoice for viewing the previous or the already saved vouchers so right click move a copy move to end create copy and here we'll type view that is invoice view mode for that here we have to change something that is we don't need any of the formulas here and here also I will remove the drop down list data data validation any value okay so we have removed everything so our view invoice is also ready and now another thing we have to use so go to invoice here whenever we select any value in this list that value will be populated here and we can see the current stock of this item so here i will type stock and here name of the item now i am typing the item name but it will be fetched through the vba code automatically when i select any value in this range so here i am typing now keyboard and here i will face the stock but i have not created the stock sheet after that i will put here the formula so you can make it center bold this one is also center bold and here we will face the current stock with the formula so we have completed both the invoice for entering the purchase and sales voucher and also the invoice view mode voucher and now when we will enter the enter any of the invoice there is purchase invoice or sales invoice that value will be transferred to another sheet so, so we will create that purchase sheet and sales sheet where all the data will be saved so create another sheet so type here purchase data and another one sells data so now we will create the table for purchase data so reduce this 
column size and then type here invoice number invoice date then party name address then mobile number then serial number description of goods units quantity rate and amount so now we'll format this table so increase the party name address mobile number and this is serial number for item description of goods units quantity amount rate okay now select this one and give formatting it is up to you use color or font that you like okay now we can use the alternating row color for this you can copy the alternating row from here select this one format and go to purchase data and select here and when you like to increase you can go to conditional formatting then increase the range from here okay and same to be done with sales data so copy this and go to sales data and paste it from C column. Decrease this B column width and increase all the size here. So, okay. Now we are done. Give here border. Here also the border. So we here when I type A it's not formatting, so we have to change something. So go to conditional formatting, manage rules, and edit the rule. Here it is column B, but it is starts from C. So type here C. Okay, apply. And this one also edit rule. C okay, apply. If I type here A, okay, it's working, but the problem is here, this row is formatting, so we have to change something, so here it will be C3, okay, this one is also, C3 is working fine, C3, okay, apply, okay, it's working, we will copy this one and paste here so that it is working now so our table has been formatted for purchase data and sales data and now we have to create a sheet for stock so take another sheet and type the sheet name as stock and we have to build this table for stock so for that decrease this column width and type here item name then opening stock then total purchase then total sales and then closing stock okay now increase the column width and now here i will type the names so here you can type the name of the list or just press equal to go to item list and select then enter so you got keyboard and drag this till the end but the problem is here we are getting zero so to fix this select this one then Control C copy 
and type here if this range equal to blank then blank otherwise same range value and bracket close enter so same we got keyboard now drag this you can see and if I enter here any new value suppose AA you can see the A is entered and here we saw another problem that is here is no value but still it is formatted so go to conditional formatting so for this one so here it is b2 so here it should be b3 okay and okay and here also we will give the conditional formatting so go to item list select this one then click format painter and go to stock and select like this way but still it's not working so let's see why it's not working here go to conditional manage rule and here so here it is b3 so here it should be c so type here c okay this one also c3 okay and okay so we got the formatting here and for the header row select this one white color and bold okay and give border okay it's working fine now so we have another sheet that is goods to order that means so when we do any purchase or sales our stock get changed so we have to continuously see which item we have to order to maintain our minimum stock or maximum stock so we have to create another sheet and here rename this sheet as item to order item to order okay so first we have to reduce the column size for B and now here type item name current stock minimum stock to order and maximum stock to order and now increase the column size and here okay now type here merge this and type items to order okay and now we'll do some formatting so select this one increase the size okay and this one also border for this all border okay fine we can give you outline border for thick outline border okay now here we will put the uh, alternating row formatting so again go to item list select this one select format painter go to here item to order and then select okay if I type here any value not formatting so let's see what is the problem manage rule so it is b4 so it's c4 okay edit again c okay this one also c okay 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 it's done now and here i will auto populate the item name which will go under the minimum stock or maximum stock so for that we have to create this stock data and after that we have to create a helper sheet and with the help of helper sheet we have to do this work so first go to stock and type here the opening stock suppose keyboard 150 mouse 35 piece hard disk 5 piece ups 20 piece printer 20 piece modem 150 pen drive 50 these are the opening stocks of these items so now what will be the closing stock so closing stock will be equal to 
opening stock plus purchase minus total sales and here we will use if this cell equal to blank then blank otherwise this formula so bracket close here and enter so we got 150 now drag this okay so now we will create a helper sheet so create a helper sheet and keep it at the beginning and type here okay so here we will do the same format as we have created in item to order so item name current stock minimum stock and maximum stock so here i will type item name current stock minimum minimum stock and maximum stock so first we will do this so for that here we will type equal to this item list enter so here select this one and create copy and type here if this value is equal to blank then we will get blank result otherwise this value bracket close and enter so we got keyboard and we will do this for 100 items so we start from 3 so we'll go to 102 okay so we have made it for 100 items and now we'll face the current stock so to face the current stock we have to create some name range from stock so go to stock click name manager new type here stock underscore item name and here equal to offset bracket open this cell comma one cell to the down comma zero cell to the right comma height will be count if bracket open select column c comma within double quotation type star question mark double quotation close bracket close minus one comma one column width bracket close okay so it's done now copy this with control c and now we will create the closing stock so new stock underscore closing stock and now here paste the formula and here instead of c2 type g2 so delete this c and type g okay so it's done now go to helper and here type equal to index our array will be stock closing stock comma our row number will be match function so lookup value will be this one comma lookup array will be stock stock item name comma exact match zero bracket close for match bracket close for index enter so our current stock is 150 so here we have got error message so we will use if error and at the end comma double quotation bracket close enter and again fill this handle it's now okay so here we will fetch a serial number for these items which has stock less than minimum stock and here we will fetch the serial number of the items which has less than or under maximum stock so 
first we will change the heading serial number of minimum stock and here serial number of maximum stock okay now we have to create the name range for the item names on item list and the minimum stock and the maximum stock so for that go to name manager so here we have the item list name you can see here so we will copy this and create new and here we will type item list underscore minimum stock and paste the formula here and it is D column so here instead of B we will put D okay it's fine and now same way new item list underscore max stock and paste the formula here and it is E column so type here E okay now it's okay close now go to helper so here we will type equal to if this cell equal to blank then blank otherwise if index so here we will fetch the minimum stock so item list minimum stock comma row number will be match lookup value will be this cell that is keyboard comma lookup array will be item list so item list comma zero for exact match comma and comma for index so this formula will give me the minimum stock of keyboard so if this value is less than this value then we'll get zero otherwise count if bracket open this cell colon this cell that is c2 colon c2 first c2 will be fixed comma within double quotation greater than zero bracket close plus one and then bracket close for first if bracket close for second if enter so we got here zero because our current stock is 150 and minimum stock we need 100 that's why it is giving us zero then drag you can see mouse it is giving serial number one then two then three you can drag, drag this till the end so we got this serial number for minimum stock and on the same way we will create here for maximum stock so you can copy this and just paste it here and change here from minimum stock to maximum stock and here we have to count from this cell so here you have to put D and this one also D then enter so here we got one and if we drag you can see serial number one two three four only this two we have maximum stock so we got the serial number now based on this serial number we will fetch the name of the item serial wise so first we'll create a name range for this item name and minimum stock and maximum stock serial so name manager new type here helper underscore item name and here equal to offset bracket open this cell comma one cell to the 
one cell to the down comma zero cell to the right comma our height will be count if bracket open column a comma within quote double quotation star question mark bracket close minus one comma one column width bracket close okay so here we got the range now copy this formula okay create new same way helper underscore sl minimum stock then paste the formula here and this is the column c so select c okay now for column d new helper underscore serial max stock then paste the formula here and change a to d okay yes we have done now here equal to index our array will be this one so helper item name comma row number will be match lookup value will be row we have to create here this serial number for that we have to use row function so this row function will give the value 3 so here we need 1 so minus 2 comma lookup array will be minimum stock so helper minimum stock comma 0 bracket close for match bracket for index enter now we got mouse here you can see one is here mouse now drag this formula till the end so we got mouse then hard disk then pen drive but here we got error formula for that we can use here if error and at the end comma double quotation bracket close enter and now for the maximum so select this one copy and paste it here and change here minimum to maximum just you can see here keyboard because the first serial number is for keyboard second for mouse you can see second for mouse third hard disk fourth ups fifth is pen drive so we have got the list which have the minimum less than minimum stock and the list of item which has less than maximum stock so we'll use this so go to item to order and here i am putting one one means minimum stock and two means maximum stock so here we will type equal to if this cell is equal to one then go to helper cell and click this cell comma else this cell then bracket close and enter so we got here mouse if i type two here we got keyboard so drag this if you want for 100 rows then go to 102 okay so you can see here we got one two three four five items and if i type here one there is some problem let's see what is the problem e3 f3 okay e4 f4 okay the problem is we have to fix this a3 f4 enter now if i drag this yes we have three item if i type two we have five item and now here we have to face the current stock so current stock equal to index our stock 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 closing stock comma row number will be match lookup value will be this cell comma lookup array will be stock 
item name comma 0 for exact match bracket close for match bracket close for index enter so we got 150 current stock for keyboard now drag this till the end so here we have error formula so again here use if error and at the end comma double quotation bracket close enter yes so this is the current stock so what will be the minimum stock to order so for that we need to know what is the minimum stock for this item so here we have 100 go to item or to order and here equal to index item list minimum stock comma match lookup value will be keyboard comma lookup array will be item list name comma 0 for exact match bracket close for match bracket close for index so this will give us the value for the minimum stock of the item so here we got 100 you can check it by pressing f9 so here minus 150 that is d4 enter so we got minus 50 because we, here it is 2 and we have that is for maximum stock this list is for maximum stock so the formula should be in this column type here 1 so we can see it is 65 and here again we have to put if error comma double quotation enter so we have to order 65 mouse to maintain our minimum stock so we have current stock 35 and here we can see to maintain the minimum stock we need 100 so we have to order 65 mouse and for maximum stock just select this one copy and paste in this cell and here instead of minimum stock you have to type here maximum stock enter and drag it till the end and here type 2 this is the list of the 2 and here you can see for keyboard you have to order 100 and for now just ignore this one because we will hide this column when we will uh, create the VBA code so, so we have to order 100 to maintain the minimum stock because here you can see 250, 250 quantity and here we have 150 current stock so 100 should be ordered so we have done this one we have created all the sheet we need that is item list invoice to enter the purchase bill or sales bill invoice view to view the saved vouchers and purchase data when we save the save this invoice for purchase it will save here for sales it will save here and final stock will be shown here so we will put the formula for total purchase based on the value of purchase data and sales data so now i will just put a demo data here on purchase data and sales data i will copy and paste it so i have already entered the demo data here for purchase and here the sales data so according to this data we will calculate the stock here we have to create some name range so this should be the quantities that is so here one thing you have to change that is first you type quantity and then unit and in the sales data also just type here quantity and here it is unit and on the invoice also you have to change it first it should be quantity then unit so type here quantity then unit and use this formula select this one 
and paste it here and here delete this one and drag this down okay and now here the amount should be not f12 it should be e12 so type here e enter and drag this till the end type here 10 is yes it's okay so you have to change this one because according to our data it should be changed so now we will calculate this stock so for that you need to create name range for quantity and description of goods these two you have to create name range for both purchase and sales so go to formula name range and new type here purchase underscore item name and here equal to offset bracket open this cell comma zero sorry i2 comma one comma zero comma count a bracket open select column i bracket close minus one comma one column width bracket close okay yes it is selected then select this one copy create new range that is quantity purchase underscore qty quantity paste it here the formula we have copied and now change it to now here instead of i it should be j okay select yes it's working fine now go to sales data name range new and here type sales data underscore item name and here equal to offset bracket open this cell comma one comma zero comma count a bracket open select column i bracket close minus one comma one column width bracket close okay now select this one copy new type here sales data underscore quantity paste the formula here and instead of i type j ok and quantity is selected close now go to stock and type here equal to sum if range will be purchase item name comma criteria will be keyboard comma sum range will be purchase quantity bracket close enter so here you can see total purchase of keyboard is 50 now drag this one you can see we got the total purchase of these items now for sales same way equal to sum if bracket open our range will be sales data item name comma our criteria will be this cell comma sum range will be sales data quantity bracket close enter so 15 has been sold bracket close now go to item to order here you can see item you have to order 65 before it was 100 because here it was 150 and here it was 100 but now as we enter the sales data and purchase data now here item to order become 65 so it's working so you have created all this item list invoice invoice view purchase data sales stock and item to order now we will use a vva code to make it automated so that you can automatically use this invoice as purchase and sales for both and invoice view here you can also view all the vouchers for purchase and invoice both 
and automatically these data are transferred to purchase data and sales data and here we do not need any automation for this sheet and here items to order we need to hide the minimum stock while we want to see the maximum stock because here you can see minus values so when we want to see the maximum stock to order then this should be hide and when we want to see the minimum stock to order then we will hide this one so for this also we need vba code so in this video we will learn up to this and on the second part of this tutorial we will learn how to make this inventory management system automated with the help of vba macros and its codings so i hope you have enjoyed this video so please hit the like button to appreciate my work and if you want to watch the second part of this video please subscribe our channel so that you can get notification from our channel when i upload the second part of this video thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial